back to episode two of Project Bombshell. Um, we have quite the list of things going on today. It's just gonna be a ton of cleanup. There's a couple things I wanna catch up on that I've been kinda doing behind the scenes and didn't get any recording done on, um, and then give you the plan of attack for today. So first off, I took some time and was working on detrimming the car, pulling off all the weather stripping and things of that that need to be replaced, just because they're starting to get dry rotted and just in bad shape. Um, from there, I fully, you know, detrimmed the interior as you guys saw with the cage and spent a lot of time grinding down the um, the remaining like stubs from the cage, which, uh, countless hours on that, a lot of time, <laughs> but it's done now. And as you can see, we've got some spray paint going on on these. What I did was um, I also had to weld the floor pan over here. So never welded a day in my life and I picked up this Harbor Freight welder from my uncle, just borrowing it and kind of taught myself how to weld. And um, I finished patching where they had kind of patched. It's obviously not pretty, but I got uh, just some boogers laid down to kind of seal it up. And um, a little bit of paint on the surface again to help it keep from rusting. There is a, a hole right here. I was trying to weld up a hole here and then it ended up arcing the floor pan and melting that. So instead of trying to continue welding, I picked up some seam sealer and uh, a caulking gun to obviously use the seam sealer. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up the remaining holes that are left from the weld as well as that one spot over there. And then once we've done all that, and go around and find the rest of the surface rest around the car, clean it up a little bit, and then go ahead and throw paint on it to prevent any further surface rust occurring. At that point, I'm gonna take the time, vacuum out the interior, go ahead and clean it all up, finish wiping up all the dust and things, because there's like lots of little metal pieces everywhere from everything. We have our list over here of things to plan to attack. Melissa's already been working away on trying to remove a lot of the 3M on the spoiler, as well as other places around the car. The other day I took like a razor blade, like a metal one to a lot of the stuff, which maybe will make a lot of you guys cringe, but I was careful. And more importantly, you'll never see that as well as the fact that we are getting the car repainted. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day if there's any little scratches, most of it will get covered up. You'll never see it. So she's just finishing removing the remaining 3M so that we have a nice clean surface to work with for paint and then you know new 3M for reassembly. In addition to that, uh, I'm also going to, after we've done the interior stuff, work on detrimming the engine bay. Pulling the rest of this stuff out because we decided that we want to do it right and paint the engine bay. So that means everything else that's in here has to come out. It really isn't too much. Um, it's just kind of like the annoying stuff like the wiring harness that we got to get out. That's going to take some time. AC lines are all pretty accessible and uh, the ABS lines might be interesting. We'll figure that one out as we go. And I got to swap some stuff over on the old carpet and the new carpet. Um, the old one was cut, you know, in a couple places for the cage. So we got a new one. It was only like 50 bucks, which is not bad at all. And then we'll be putting all that back together and hopefully by the end of the weekend, today's Saturday, we have today and tomorrow, um, we'll have the interior done and back together so that the car looks like a car inside, just we'll obviously still need lots of work outside. Another thing I forgot to mention, uh, I had to spend like an evening or so working on the um, side view mirror because for whatever reason this glass uh, started to separate from the backing plate and uh, you can't really see it. So I had to pop this out so that I could pull the glass off and you'll see a picture on the screen now. There's like this thin adhesive on the back of the glass that was like separating from the backing plate. So I had to pull all that off, get it cleaned up. And then I picked up some of this uh, Gorilla, it's like 3M uh, double stick tape. And I put that all over the back of it and then reapplied it to, uh, you know, stick the mirror. Cause it, like I said, it was falling out. I wanted to keep the functionality. These are like the heated side view mirrors. So I was trying to not compromise that. So there is like wires on the back of the glass. Those are back in place. So now that that's fixed, this also just again, needs to be cleaned up like everything else. But it's kind of nice that these just pop off for paint purposes. So anyways, as you can see, it's quite the list of what we've got going on. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking. We're just gonna get working, try and show you guys some of the stuff as we're going through it. So enjoy. Before, during, cute wife, and then after. 
So it doesn't look perfect, doesn't need to be perfect, because again, the surface is getting painted. We're just trying to knock down some of the excessive amounts of nasty. So you started at what time we start? I want to say like 2.30? Wait, three is the three M gone? Um, for the most part, yeah. I think we're almost done with three M. I just want to cross it off the list. No, I think we can. Well, let's at least show them the hood. Yeah. So, Melissa, we're working away at removing all the three M stuff. So it looks way better. She also gave the car a wireless wash. But look at that fresh hood. Way better. I guess they white, obviously, but it's just nice to see that structurally it's not ruined. It still feels like sandpaper, but. <laughs> yeah. Not as bad as the rest of the car, but. Yeah. Yeah. Give them a walk around. The paint's actually not in terrible condition. It, you know, it's, it's rough, but it's definitely salvageable if we wanted to keep it black. This looks way better on camera. Are they right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the update. Everyone give Melissa a round of applause for doing lots of 3M removal. Because if you've ever done it, you know it's awful. Yes. And then we'll do it again. So, really? I really want to just like Skylar decided to come down and join us. Okay. Hi. Okay. Exterior is done. 3M removal. Side scoops off. Melissa's working on getting on 3M here. So I need to tackle the trunk. Um, the pieces there, I want to kind of clean up some surface rust again. And then there's also, I got to fix the wire on the fuel pump from where they had tapped in for a fuel pump booster. Otherwise, it's not too bad back here. I'm just checking. I was wearing that hat all day. Oh. I've been working on some stuff in the car. We finished cleaning out the interior. So after kind of cleaning everything up in here yesterday, so throwing some right spray now. paint. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, on some of the stuff, I finished wiping and then we reinstalled some new speakers. Uh, they're aftermarket, so I had to like modify the lines, but that will be hopefully good to have some nicer speakers in here. Uh, we finished wiping down the rest of the interior in here, so it's looking a lot better. That being said, the floor pan sealing and paint after rust removal is officially done. So Cross those off the list. On the list yeah, but, but we got some stuff. Uh, cleaning interior parts, you can knock that off because oh yeah, you that. did do that. Cool. New carpet, that's going to take some time. Reinstall interior, We're waiting on that because of the dynamite, which I added to the list. Tom, you added this? Yes. Oh, our list. So we have to still do one, two, three, four, five, six things. Well, I mean, we kind of, I mean, We made good progress. Like this was literally all day. I know, the I 3M was awful. Else except for that. I got a blister today from working on it. My thumbs yeah. are not strong enough. <laughs> so I probably spent like an hour or so doing that myself today. So here's like little inserts from the side scoop. So this is now trash. This is the old deck. It's got big holes in it from the cage. So if anybody's putting a cage in their car and they wants to keep a deck, let me know. You can have it for free if it's not already trashed. Fixed the wiring for the fuel pump here because um, it was tapped into for a booster pump. And then there's this plug over here 
these wires sucked to try and fix because they're so small. But I believe this is like the control wiring stuff for the sub once we get that in. Still some more to go. Um, I got this small piece of dynamite, so I'm gonna use that in some of the interior to cover up some of the little holes from like where they had the harness things. But I think the full dynamat in the trunk and the back seat area is gonna be really nice and should kind of finish up covering some of the little holes that I've been finding all over the place from God knows what. What up, Kyle? Where's your monster, bro? You look like a thug. Mean mugging it. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. So while we didn't finish everything, I definitely feel good. Made lots of good progress. It's coming together. Yeah, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. We didn't finish the list this weekend. It's okay. But... We're gonna pick this back up when we get back to around to finishing the stuff up. There's not a whole lot left. Some of that stuff should go fairly quick outside of the. So it's next day. weekend. Always next weekend. For a Who couple needs seconds. Who to work on this car? You have this one. Instagram one this weekend. But it's my car next. <laughs> well, don't ask Instagram. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Learned your lesson. I know. All right, All right guys, so I'm going to cut the video here. This uh, ended up being a little bit longer than I anticipated when going through all the footage. So it's going to be part one and then part two. So um, hit the like button if you're enjoying the Bombshell Rebuild series so far. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying the content so far. Stay tuned for more stuff like this. And don't forget to check out the Instagrams down below. You can see mine and my wife's Instagram for more up-to-date content there. But otherwise, peace out. We will catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,